Islam, Sheet the Way by Fa Bay. Islam, I'm Moist American Nation, Imani Gray Bay. I just, um, it's September 30th, 2021. And recently I just posted about how um, illegal organ selling and drug trafficking. Whoops, let me go down here and walk just in case because I just walked under the path, the car path where I usually walk on my way to earn money at Burger King. I have to be there at 11. It's approximately 10 a.m. right now. And these cops are here. I don't know what's going on. But um, day for yesterday, car accident. I have never seen so many car accidents in my since I um been um since I've been um I guess you want to say noticing them in a, such a small town. So I came to Annapolis. And Monty and I, we were at um, in an, um, New York for almost, uh, let's see, it was a year and a half approximately. Didn't see not one car accident. And we had to be out, I can't say every day, <laughs> but trust me, we went from Brooklyn to the Bronx to Queens, walking, catching a train. And I'm not saying that there wasn't car accidents, I'm just saying I never saw any. Uh, we went to Manhattan. So I'm just giving you a description of, um, this is the walk path I um, usually go. And so the reason why I'm saying that, cause I see two police officers and a UPS car, UPS. Um, so we, um, we were definitely out um, learning the train system. That train system is no joke. The bus system, <laughs> the bus system is no joke. So I just got through posting and I'm gonna post regularly how um, those who are in an authoritative position should investigate drug trafficking um, or drug dealing illegally, um, organ selling, illegal organ selling, sex trafficking, um, money laundering in Annapolis because of the odd behavior I think I have experienced. For, for example, I'm Ron Arrington Bay, a police officer, maybe like 15 minutes approximately, or five minutes, I would say a few moments, I can't remember, but it wasn't long at all. After I post about the harassment I experienced by black males in Annapolis, knocked on my door, knocked on my door at American Extended Stay, saying someone complained, saying I was speaking about killing people. And I said, I speak about killing unclean spirits. I give honor and praise to you, Allah, the spirit of Allah, for killing and destroying unclean spirits all the time. You know, so anyway, um, and I explained that to the police officer. And I said, I have the, you know, I might be racist and say, now I'm not racist, not my de definition of racist, but a person might say that person is racist if they say they don't like black people, white people, um, Mexican. They have the right under constitutional law to feel like they're, in so many words I was saying this, I don't think I got it all out that, that night, to say they would never um, befriend a pale skin, a Negro African American, uh, Mexican, South American, they have the right to say that they feel better. I am better than you are. There's nothing you can give me in reference to my spirituality and birthrights that is worth me mixing my energy with you. But they do not have the right to um, infringe on their rights of liberty where they are um, displaying violence, abusive behavior. They're in an authoritative position at a workplace and they, discri and they discriminate, excuse me. They do not have the right to do that according to constitutional law. But when you violate in constitutional laws, they might feel like they have the right. So I'm going to Whole Foods. This is Whole Foods. Um, I just got through walking to upload videos. So, cause I was, um, I give examples 
of me being among those from that um, that are part of the Ku Klux Klansmen in the South. I mean, to see someone that implied or represent the Klansmen in the South wasn't nothing abnormal. In my neighborhood, there were a couple of families that were supposedly representing the Klansmen. But we just knew, we just knew not to um, have any, to keep our distance from them and respect their beliefs. That's it. And um, I, I don't, I never had an issue with them. Um, one of their um, kids that could have been, I don't know for sure, um, when he was young, um, said the word n nigger to me, but um, I was young too, and I don't, I mean, I'm not even giving, I mean, he was just, he just said it no, for no reason. And that was the last time. Then he grew up, maybe like five years later, ten, no, seven years later, I don't know, it was a long time, maybe five years. Anyway, my, my father's house caught on fire, and he was the person that called me while I was earning money at the time, because uh, um, he knew where I was, because it was a neighborhood, everybody knew everybody, and said, did you know your house was on fire? You need to come home. So he grew. He was known to be possibly connected to the Klansmen, but he changed his belief through his experience, possibly, I don't know. But he could have stayed a Klansman. That's his belief, if he wanted to, according to constitutional law. But I remember he was the one that called me and said, your house is on fire. You need to go home. So anyway. And I, I remember exactly how he looked. I remember his name, but I'm not gonna even speak his name. But I'm just saying I grew up around some really, um, those that thought they were better than me, um, racist children. I did, but you know, what can you do? So um, then as they grew up, they, you know, we still had to coexist among one another. I have to go because I have to upload.